Hello and welcome to Flory Models Kit View Time. Today we've got Copper State Models latest release. This is the Quadron G3. Now, to be honest with you, I'm not up on World War I uh, aircraft at all. Uh, so I've done a little bit of research on this. And again, it's one of those ones where I knew nothing about this at all. Spent, you know, basically an hour doing so a little bit of research. And I'm actually quite blown away with it. It's a great aircraft. It was a trainer. Um, but again, you know, I don't know exactly what the G3, how it was, but the original Cauldron didn't have dual controls and you couldn't actually talk to the pilot who's in the front. So the instructor would sit in the back and just roughly shout at him and all the rest of it. So again, really is phenomenal and all the rest of it. The other thing as well, no control surfaces, no ailerons, no tailplanes. It's all done by wing warping, which was the same as like the Wright brothers had on their one. So again, this is pioneering type aircraft right the way through. So now I can actually understand why Copper State Models decided to do it because it is a very much an iconic aircraft and it is part of aviation history uh, and you can see how the pioneers of flight actually carried this through and all the rest of it. So this is one of those ones when you first glance at it you think oh it's a World War One aircraft. Do a little bit of homework on it and actually you can understand it's actually a very interesting subject. So we can see down here on the old box art, very nice indeed. And say one of the big things with this, it doesn't have a rear fuselage. There's nothing back there at all, apart from this bar running down the bottom that runs to the front of the skid uh, and some wires and that's it. So again, truly amazing uh, aircraft. So running around on the box, you can see the different versions of it is available. Uh, obviously all the different areas down around about 1916, 1915 times as you can see and then over on here we've got your kit number 32006 and then some more blurb over there. So in the box itself which is a very sturdy box obviously as we've always come to expect now and again we've got the internal white box beautifully done we are greeted by our parts so we've got the engine parts we've got some few little clear parts not much admittedly we've got the internals for the actual that bar system that runs through things like that we've got the prop some of the wings engine cowlings little bits in there we've actually got them I think that's the lower wing or is that the top wing and then the fuselage half looks like some great detail in here as well there we go there's the uh, the lower wing I think so very nice as well and somewhat the highlight will be the instructions which we look at the moment we've also got a little bit of photo etch very nice touch and obviously we've got the decals as well so that's really nice so does this mean because obviously anybody who follows me knows i am a massive fan of copper state models this instruction book i'm expecting to be just like the other this is thick card You'll probably see how this is we've got beautiful history about it, which I probably could have read that before I started this, but uh, there you go, uh, right the way through. And then all the instructions. Now, again, this is one of those ones, unfortunately now, obviously, speaking of the competition that was, Wingnut Wings always had the best ever instruction books. Now I can stay without any shadow of doubt that's taken, Mantle has now passed to Copper State because their instructions, as you can see, are phenomenal. And especially when you're dealing with sort of World War One aircraft and you're dealing with rigging and wiring and things like that, you know, you need all the detail you can get and you are not disappointed down in here. So again, we can see we've got all the various battery box system, all the details, different angles, we've got all your painting guides, showing your wiring even of how it all worked as well and then obviously into the actual scale model itself again if you've never seen one of these kits before honestly it's worth it just for the instructions they are absolutely beautiful so anyway moving through we've got the seat we've got the harnesses going to be going down in here as well full color as well so you can see the sort of color guide for it working our way down inside the sort of i would say fuselage almost cockpit area we've got the bracing wires down in here and then all the details as you make your way through as you can see this is a beautiful, beautiful booklet uh, and guide to actually building the model itself. So it makes it so much easier. Then obviously we've got the wings and the various systems, more wiring showing you in detail, good, nice references for you. So you can get it all lined up and all ready to go. 
I'm talking about the decals for the gauges and which ones you'd be using nice clear the gun obviously have your rifle on the side uh, and then obviously all the sort of bracing wire and all the rigging down in here for the wings and how you're going to be going about doing that so that's really nice indeed talks about obviously with the lacing system of obviously joining the actual outer wings to the main spar of the wings as well down in here so you've got all of those and talking about angles and lineups and various things again it makes it so much more enjoyable working on models when you've got really good references so you can see exactly where you need to go with it about it so if you're doing the bomb equipped ones which literally slip out uh, the back area obviously you've got it down in here for your bomb load being fitted onto it and then again it talks about uh, doing your rigging and your bracing wires and all the rest of it As you imagine there's a lot of it on this particular one it does have movable rudders which is quite nice so there we go that's pretty good stuff all the way through and for the tails as you can see it's pretty much uh, a detailed look with all that wiring down there the engine's not forgotten about as well so obviously you can see down here it's pointing out clearly as well which is really nice about this peg being fitted down into the hole so you've got the rotation of the engine the right way around engine system going together really nicely we've got the engine cowling going in there as well very nice indeed and then obviously all the difference down in here I assume this is uh, this one's got a bit of a better undercarriage and just some bungees that I've seen on some of the others so that's not too bad as well so those going in there wheels prop being fitted and then obviously the colors of the props markings obviously for your decal placement and depending which version you're doing as well so we've got pegasus one down in here um you know and various other ones right the way through as you can see it is beautiful at the end of the day very very nice indeed so that's good stuff right so uh let's go decals first and then we'll do photo etch and then we'll have a look at the other bits so <laughs> Out of here, there we go. So, decals again. If you've never seen their decals, I'm gonna sound like a fanboy, and I'll be honest with you total clarity on this one. They did send me this kit for review, so but honestly, this is one of the easiest reviews I ever have to do with uh, Copper State. They're like wingnut wings, they were just beautiful done. But you can see not many decals, so that's good. But look at the quality in the printing literally, it's like silk screen printed properly done no problem with that at all so that's really very very nice indeed then we've got the photo etch so we've got a little bit of photo etch just down in here the little baggie so we've got your harnesses down in there as we said before and a couple of other little straps so that's very good indeed so when you're into the the parts uh, i'll tell you what we can have a look at this one just get them out of the way there's your windscreen again there's not too much going on here as you can see it's literally just that okay and then if we jump into the, the parts so the parts are beautifully good clean so here we are on sprue away looking very very nice indeed so if you move straight into this wing you can see the surface detail it is so finely done like the lacing system down in here very very nicely done good sharp you can hopefully you can see the the actual warping over this top wing where you've obviously got the depression with the tightening of the fabric very very nicely done and then again working your way down here's your, the rifle all the parts as you can see nice clean crisp beautifully done very very nicely done indeed and then we've got the fuselage section down in here and what's a lovely little touch is these seats so again this is sprue b looking very very nice indeed no problem with that and again here's that lower wing section and again you can see the sort of stretched fabric over the formers in the wings looking very nice indeed but the seat detail look at the cushion detail with the actual buttons in there for the seats proper seats none of this wicker rubbish very nice indeed beautifully done fuselage halves again catching it in the light hopefully you can see that it's got the stressed fabric over it as well where it's all been pulled taut and then again more bars and bits going in and again down on the inside you have got a few ejector pins down in there but i don't think you're going to see those from the placement of that so that's really nice and then again under here don't panic that's not a sink mark that's actually going to be a part onto that so that's why it's tightening it showing it right the way through so there's no ejector pins on the underside of the fabric but you can see the detail in that really very very nice indeed okay right so 
we have the outer part of the wings here and some of the other smaller parts you can see. So this is spruce C looking very much the part, very nice indeed. And again, we've got that engine cowl looking there. We sort of got what would be, I suppose, the firewall, the engine mount down onto there. The cockpit parts again in fabric. We've got that battery box. We've got the outsides. That's the tails down in here and on the back. And again, these wings. So this is the outer part of the wing. So you've got the lacing points down in here for sewing it together. And again, no control surfaces. It's all wing warped, which is uh, obviously coming to fruition now with modern aircraft doing it as well. So again, really very nicely done. There's no sink marks, no nasties or anything down in there whatsoever. I love that attention to detail just in here, having the actual correct amount of probably what as it would be from that trailing edge of here, the way it's then transferred onto the underside so it would show through like that. It's absolutely beautifully done. Very, very nice. And generally, it's almost impossible to sort of fault this. I haven't found a fault anyway yet. Okay. This is a dual or a match pair sprues because obviously it's exactly the same left and right. So we can have a look down in here. So this is sprue D and again, that's that all important bar that's going to run the length of it all down here. The wheels looking really nice. All the parts, very, very nice indeed. Good, clean, crisp molding, sharp molding. I'll tell you how I would describe it because you know me, I like to judge things. It's very similar to Eddard's molding, you know? So I don't know who does their molding, but it's very, very similar. You see how Eddard's is done? It's that same plastic, it's that same quality as well. So if you've ever done anything new of Ed Arch, you'll know exactly what I'm on about. As you can see down here, sprue E, we've got the engine parts. Again, lovely rotary engine. And again, the detail on the ends here, as you can see on the tops of the pots, really very, very nice indeed. And again, you can go in here and add a little bit more wiring into it, and various things to really make this pop beautiful. Again, this is one of those areas, I, I just go, you know, over it, but it's one of those things, when I first saw this kit, it's like, yeah, it's another World War One aircraft. And to me, as a complete imbecile, they look just like each other. But then you did a little bit of homework onto this one. It's a great video actually from the Royal Air Force Museum's YouTube channel, which is what I watched about this one as well. And uh, they talk about it in there. And again, it's one of those ones where when you get just a little bit into it, you're like, wow, blown away. You know, as I say, it's a very delicate aircraft. I think they said in there it was under a hundred pound in weight all up for the actual aircraft as well. So it doesn't weigh anything. It's very, very light as it would have been back in the day. So uh, yeah, it's one of those ones where you get a little bit into it, you do a little bit of research, you can really get into the build of it and you get a greater understanding of the model itself and what the modelers are trying to achieve. And when you're building it, putting your touch into it as well. So it's one of those, you can just scratch the surface of it and get drawn right into the actual project when you're building your model. So there we go, that's Copper States Models Codron G3 132nd scale.